Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to use the table of contents in Adobe Captivate 6. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and just go up to your, your themes tab at the top and go to table of contents. A lot of times by default, Captivate either does not show the table of contents when you preview your project or um, it might show the table of contents but each individual slide is not showing up. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to, uh, to kind of work with today in this screencast. First thing you want to do is go ahead and just click the uh, so, show TOC or show table of contents and you'll notice in the preview here that it now shows and displays over on the left side. In another tutorial I show you how to actually reposition that and um, how to use that in conjunction with our actual um, player skin widgets. Um, but in this this example, just know that that little checkbox there shows it or um, or hides it. The next thing you'll want to do is, um, I like to just use this click reset TLC button at the bottom here. And if you click that, it automatically checks all of your slides that are in your project and it gives it the name if there is a name on each slide. This particular project, I have not named each individual slide, so it just shows up by default as slide one, slide two, and so forth. Um, if you want to make a folder and kind of group different slides, um, let's say right above slide number three here, I'd like to actually group that into uh, maybe like a module. I could click this folder icon then, and it gives it a topic name. You could double click on that topic name, and I could rename this module one if I'd like. Next thing I, I could do is go down to slide number three and I could click this move TLC entry right. If I click that, it actually groups it inside of module one. And now on the on the TLC over here, as I preview it, it shows my slide three inside that module. And that's a great way of organizing your slides in Adobe Captivate. Let's say you actually want to rename slide number three. You could double click it right here and and you could give this a new name if you like. So that's how you rename, how you group, and kind of how you work with some of the, uh, the slide functions here. Another way of renaming the slides, I'm going to go and just close this out. Another way of renaming and organizing your slides is on the film strip mode, mode here. You could actually just go to your properties panel and give it a name, name right over here on the, uh, on the, the field, of, the text field there. All right. Well, that's how you kind of work with the table of contents within Adobe Captivate 6. Hopefully this helps you with uh, your future development. Thanks a lot.